is it possible for humans to live forever? It's a question which is often asked, but what would really be needed for this to happen, and is it ever going to be likely? Well, currently the human body is, in ideal conditions, able to live for about 120 years. It's possible in the future that more people are going to make it to this mark. However, it's still likely to be a tiny minority, with lots of barriers about reaching this age. Pushing the body beyond 120 years towards immortality is going to be difficult, if not impossible. In order to clarify the situation, we're going to go through some of the major issues involved. Firstly, it's always going to be accidents and incidents that cause life to end, from lightning strikes to earthquakes to car accidents. These aren't really part of the main issue about immortality. I'm going to put those aside and ignore those for the moment. The next major factor is infectious diseases. And many of these have already been cured. It's certainly possible, if not probable, that all of these will either be eliminated or have found cures for them at some time in the future, even if in the distant future. What we're left with then is what they've known as degenerative diseases and basic wear and tear on the body. Now, basic wear and tear on the body is able to be generally dealt with with a combination of artificial body parts, transplants or replacement organs from stem cells. However, degenerative disease is going to be the major stumbling block. This includes things like cancer, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Precise reasons why cells in general deteriorate as we age isn't really known whether it's an accumulation of environmental damage or pre-programmed lifespan. But the most common theory is that the cells build up toxins that they can't dispose of. These include free radicals, collagen, and lipofusion. Healthy diet, light exercise, and low stress seem to slow the production of these, but the build-up seems to be inevitable. And the other factors come down to replication. Each time a cell is copied, the DNA needs to replicate as well. Because of the billions of permutations of the DNA, mistakes in the copying are bound to happen. The more often this copying takes place, the more errors that will occur. Sometimes these errors in a part of the DNA which is either not vital or even not even functioning. However, there are times when the error is critical, causing creation of a mutated protein. This in turn can lead to cancer or other cell health related problems. It is possible to prevent these mistakes, or isn't it? Or even to correct them when they occur? Well, you can do some things to your lifestyle which reduces the number of times the cells need to copy itself. The copying and resultant errors are actually inevitable. That leaves us with correction. It's probably going to be possible to detect and remove faulty cells at an early stage. The majority of these Places before it becomes life-threatening. However, you may not be able to remove all of these without risks to the patient, especially when they occur in sensitive areas like in the brain. The other key issues comes down to something called telomeres, which are the protective end caps on the ends of the chromosomes, a bit like the aglets on the end of a shoelace. Each time the DNA is copied, you can't copy the entire length of the DNA. What is lost each time is a fraction of the end the telomere caps. The pr process happens too often, the telomeres are lost completely, then the DNA itself isn't copied, which can cause the cancer and other diseases related to faulty DNA. However, it is possible that telomerase may actually be able to restore the shortened lengths. Again, this is down to healthy lifestyle and genetics. What this leaves us with as a whole is whether it's cell age or cell replication, the body is going to age, and whilst most of the body could be replaced, the brain can't. So it may be possible for someone to be born today to live to 150, or roundabouts, but it will involve extensive medical processes towards the end of the life, and whilst the body may still be working, the brain is likely to descend into senility and giving up long before the body does. So, can we get immortality? Probably not. Can we extend life? Yes. Is it going to be a healthy life? That's going to be the question.